Story is your boy Sam from Team Sarah Jr. here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with a brand new 2018 Mega Tin promos. The promos that we have all been waiting for, guys. This tin is supposedly going to be one of the best tins of 2018, and literally, guys, next week the tins are going to be coming out. And I can't wait to open the tins for you guys on the channel, and especially I'm going to be doing a live box break on opening these tins. So if you guys definitely want to join the live stream next Thursday at night when I open these amazing tins. And I'm also making pre-orders on these tins because last time I did the Shadows in Valhalla opening video, you guys bought the boxes off me live and I actually opened up your booster boxes on the live stream. And after that, I literally shipped you guys out the cards from the booster box to you guys. So hopefully you guys got your packages by now. So you guys definitely want to pre-order Okay, your mega tins right now. All you guys gotta do is message me on my Facebook page. I'm gonna put your name up on the pre order list. I'm gonna try to sell as many tins as I can. And then on Thursday next week, when I get all the tins, I'm gonna be opening up the tins on live stream for you guys. Your tins online, okay? I'm, I'm gonna be opening your tins on the live stream. It's gonna be flipping epic because my hands and my poles, oh my goodness, guys, I can guarantee that I can bless your poles with these hands and after that obviously the prices that I'm gonna showcase you guys are gonna include shipping and also comes with a Team Samurai X1 signed token as well. So it's gonna be around roughly 23 USD for each tin and I'm gonna send out to you guys as soon as I open it as quickly as possible. So make sure you guys pre-order your tins right now. I'll leave all the information in the box below if you guys definitely are interested in this. I'm gonna be opening up your tins live next Thursday. All you guys gotta do is order, I'll put your name on the list and when I live stream, boom, 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 your name is gonna be on the screen uh, you know, whenever your tin pops up, your tin is going to be on the screen and everyone can see what you pulled. Mega tin for almost, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm just very excited. Shout out to the YGO organization for always hooking us up with the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! news. And shout out to my boy, Kelvin, man. Kelvin, you're always on top of things. Whenever there's new support, bro, you always get me on the information, bro. Shout out to you, man. My apologies in advance for the pimples. I had a breakout. You know, something was on my face. I popped it. It's pretty gross. Don't mind me, my face is usually clear, you guys know that. But anyways, without further ado, get started. So finally, both the news and cards we've been waiting for for ages. So, a new element to Hero Neo's monster. Pretty great, you guys are probably wondering, that's my little brother right there, just chilling on his phone. Elemental Hero Nebula Neos. All right, guys. Level 9 Earth Warrior Fusion Effect Monster Attack 3000 Defense 2500. Materials Elemental Hero Neos plus Neo Spatial Grand Mode plus Neo Spatial Dark Panther. Well, so you need three of these cards right here. Must be future summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the above cards and drawing to the deck. Do not use polarization because all Neo monsters utilizes the contact fusion uh, aspect to summon those cards. If this card is special summoned from the extra deck, draw a card, you go to the number of cards your opponent controls, then negate the effect of one face of monster in the field until the end of this turn. Wow! So Neo's Grand Mode Dark Panther summon on a board full of five cards your opponent controls. You drive you draw five cards. <laughs> That's pretty good to me, man. And this card is special summon for, uh, and then uh, once we're done during the end phase, shuffle this card into the extra deck. If you do, banish all cards on the field face down. What? Banish all cards on the field face down? That's freaking broken, man. So you basically summon this card, draw five cards. Let's say your opponent has five cards on the field. You attack, end phase, return to the extra deck, banish all cards your opponent controls face down. You obviously don't want to put your cards face down. You know, uh, on the board because it will get uh, banished, but all cards on the field will be banished by this card's effect, which is absolutely insane. So, Elemental Hero Nebula Neos, a pretty good card to actually look at, especially for those uh, people that actually play Yu Gi Oh! on a casual level. This card can actually become very, very good. Maybe this card can become meta competitive, who knows? But the effect already is pretty good. Next card, Junk Speeder. Alright, guys, Junk Speeder right here, level 5, Wind Warrior, Synchro Effect Monster. 18, 1,000 booty, material 1 synchro on tuner and 1 non tuner monster. It is kind of synchro summon, you can special summon as many synchro on tuner as possible with different levels in your deck. In defense position, you cannot special summon monster from the extra deck except for synchro monsters to you after this effect. Wow. So, it is kind of synchro summon, special summon as many synchro on tuner as possible from your deck, uh, from your, with different levels from your deck in defense position. So, there's other synchron tuners, junk synchron, jet synchron, quick draw synchron. When an attack is declared above in this card, that will single summon this turn and another monster. You can make this card attack become double his original attack until the end of this turn. You can use this effect of junk speeder once per turn. Uh, Jaden gets a uh, Neos, also you say, also gets a synchro monster in, in, in the form of junk speeder, which is pretty great. A monster that enables you to actually bring out more tuners from the deck is actually pretty amazing. Uh, you know, you bring out using this card level 5 and you know, jet synchron, you can make a level 6 and then activate jet synchron in the graveyard, make a level 7 synchro monster, pretty awesome card right there. Ultra rares, man, E-Hero Solid, 
uh, uh, solid soldier, solid soldier right here, solid mini. This card is absolutely amazing. So now we have a searchable Goblin Burg for the deck. Just searchable now with e call, which is really amazing. So be able to provide that card like Shadow Mist from the Gleebar to trigger off its effect and search. A uh, mass change directly from the deck to your hand is just pretty good as well. So card's pretty amazing. Uh, amazing. I'm really glad that this card finally came out in a Mega Tin. Really cool hero support. Now we got Keeper of the dra uh, Dragon Magic. This card's pretty good as well. This card is normal summoner special summon. You can discard one card, Island Polarization, normal spell card, or a fusion normal spell card from your deck to your hand. So this card searches a fusion spell. You can be a one fusion monster reaction that special one fusion material monster whose name is specifically listed on that monster from the graveyard in phase time because Blizzard you can only activate each effect of Keeper Dragon Magic once per turn. You can also special the monster from the extra deck except for the fusion monster. So this deck is just a really good huge boost for any uh, fusion based deck which is very very awesome. I have a couple of deck profiles involved in this card so make sure you guys stay tuned. My Dragon of Swamp level 4 water worm fusion effect monster. Uh, material 2 monsters with the same uh, attribute with different types. Your opponent cannot target this card or monster with you with the same attribute as this card with card effect. Once per turn, you can declare one attribute. This card becomes that attribute until the end of this turn. So it's a water level 4 monster, a really good instant fusion target, which is really amazing. Which is able to protect, you know, monster on the board with the same attribute as this card. So you're actually able to um, switch this card uh, to any attribute, you know, any decks, like especially Gold Key, all your monsters are earth and things like that. You can just easily instant fusion summon this card, declare earth. Earth, and your opponent cannot target this card and all monsters with the same with the same attribute as this card. So if you call Earth, all your Earth monsters will be protected, which is really really cool. So another really good card for instant fusion on our target, which is very very awesome in my personal opinion. Next card right here, Arcana Extra Joker. Oh my goodness, guys, very good Yugi support. Very happy we got this. So three warrior monsters with different names. One's turn when a spell or trap card or monster that exactly that targets the face of card on the field. Or a monster this card points, so you can discard, you can discard the same type of card, monster on trap, to get the activation. Sadly, it doesn't destroy, which is a pretty big downside. When this thing summon card short battles, have to be able to resource on level four or more. Warrior normal monster for your deck, and if you do, I want level four warrior monster for your deck to your hands. But it still has a very cool neg negation effect because let's say that you know your opponent would target it or a monster points you with a card of the deck, you can just pitch the card to the graveyard. Depending on what card you have in your hand, monster small or trap card to negate the activation. But if it did destroy. It would have been really awesome, but nonetheless, this card is it's a big beefy beater, a length 3, 2800 attack, pretty awesome to me. Next card right here, we got Junk Collector. I remember you say using this card back in the day, which is really awesome. So you can banish uh, this card on the field and one normal trap in your graveyard, apply the banished trap card's effect. It was a hand trap. Man. No, no, not a hand trap. You can banish this card on the field, one normal trap in your graveyard. The card is, is alright. Next up right here, we got the Stardust Assault Warrior, the brand new Stardust uh, Synchro Monster. One true to one non true to monster. When this card is Synchro Summon, while you control all the monsters, you're targeting one Junk Monster Game Art Special Summon. It. Oh, card's pretty good. So basically, you climb into this. When this card is Synchro Summon, you got you control all the monsters. You can target one Junk Monster in Game Art Special Summon. It. Okay, so basically, okay, I, I see the combination now. So you have Junk Speed, and it's a level 5. You just make a tuner and make this card right here to activate Jump Speeder, Special Summon, Jet Synchron directly from the deck. Uh, with uh, Jump Speeder and uh, Jet Synchron, make this bad boy right here. And then activate this card, target one Junk Monster Game Art, Special Summon Jump Speeder from the grave. Wow, you know, this is a pretty cool combo you guys can do. But just easily bring out two single monsters on the board for absolutely free, which is really good. And you still have the Jet Synchron effect in the graveyard as well to pitch a monster from your hand to the graveyard to special summon to this side of the field, which is very, very awesome. So that's synergy that, of course, Starter Assault Warrior has with obviously the Jump Speeder right here. Awesome. All right. Next card right here, we got, of course, uh, Material Metal Marcher. Uh, one Judo, one non Judo monster. This card is single summon. You can target one tuner in your game right special in defense position, but it gains effect. It doesn't matter. It's a monster reborn for tuners, which is great. So, you know, any single uh, heavy base deck, you can easily summon this card, boom, special summon a tuner from the graveyard. A single monster that uses as uh, a single monster that uses this card as material should be as a tuner while face up on the field. Nonetheless, you can easily bring up this card, bring back a tuner, either make another Synchro Monster or make another Link Monster, which is pretty cool. So there you have another, you know, Monster Reborn type of deck for a Synchro Monster right here called Martial Metal Marcher. Junk Collector for the last and final uh, promo card. You guys can see, there's no Christian Needle Fiber. I told you guys, if Needle Fiber came in this tin, it would have broke the entire tin, but anyways, Junk, collect, junk Connector link two Dark Warrior Monsters, two Effect Monsters, Warrior and or Machine, including a Tuner. So essentially Needle Fiber for the deck, 
Uh, once we're done during the main battle phase, you can quick effect immediately after this combat resolves. Single summon one single monster using only kills card points too. If this is Link Summon card you control is destroyed battle by one card effect and the graveyard. You can special one junk single monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a single summon. Nice. This bad boys dies. You have a starter's assault warrior. You also have uh, Junk Speeder. So bring out Junk Speeder, bring out Jetson Quan directly from the deck. So many cool combos you guys can actually do with this deck. So I can't wait to actually showcase you guys this card in action. So that's pretty much it for all the promos. Very cool legacy supports for decks like Neos, uh, you know, actually Judai, for Yusei, for Yugi as well with the Arcana monsters, which is very amazing. Uh, you know, a lot of Yusei supports, I would say. You know, you know, a lot of junk cards, junk. You know, stay tuned with that junk deck profile, guys. That, that junk deck profile is going to be very awesome. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed these promos, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you guys like these promos? Do you guys not? What are your opinions on the Nebula deals? Drawing potentially up to 10 cards. So let's say your opponent has 10 cards on the board. Five back row, five monster. You draw 10 cards. End phase. Banish everything. Let me know what your thoughts are with that. It's a very gimmicky situation, but it does it, 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 it does happen. It does happen. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Smash thumbs up button. 150k play mat right here. Make sure you guys get your hands on these right now. Free shipping to Canada, USA. International shipping may cost extra. All the links is in the description box below. Help support the channel. Get the mat. And make sure you guys pre-order your boxes today, your mega tins today. Because literally, you guys get a tin. You guys get a signed Team Samurai X1 exclusive token. And I'll ship these guys to you as quickly as possible. And then I'll crack your tins online. So... Last night, last time I opened Shadows in Valhalla, I stayed up for four hours. Uh, Megatons, I am at least estimating that I'll be up the entire night because you guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is Sam from Team Sam. Thanks, Sam. All right, guys. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. Or I beat a game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shot. I'm a key with it like no, no, this league.